Hey all and welcome to another exciting build guide. In this guide I'll be showing you how to use and install the Woodland Scenics Just Plug lights into this great looking bush Land Cruiser. Lighting up your layout has been made very easy especially when using products like the Just Plug system and as for vehicles the bush models are hard to beat as you'll see. So let's get started. On any type of project, it's always a good idea to have a small container to keep your parts together. Some of the details on this vehicle are very small and easy to lose. I carefully remove any of the small details that are slightly loose like this spade, or that might get in the way like these mirrors. Now we can remove the chassis. This particular car is held together by the front and rear bumper. They are easily removed with a little pressure. Not all vehicles will be the same or as easy as this one, but the principle will be similar. Bush certainly make their vehicles easy to modify in detail. Sure they are expensive, but the detail and workmanship speaks for itself. And now the shell should lift away easily and the windshield should pop out. The lights I'm using are from the Woodland Scenics Just Plug lighting system. I'm using cool white nano LEDs. Near the tip of the LED there will be some shrink tubing. You may or may not need to trim a small amount away to expose the back face of the LED. This will make it much easier to install and provides a nice flat surface to apply glue onto. Just be careful to avoid damaging the LED. I'm modifying the silver reflector so I can fit the LEDs between the clear light and the reflector. I basically cut a groove big enough to slide the LED in between. Styrene could also be used. Don't forget to check out BoulderCreekRailroad.com. I'm always posting new information up there about future projects and you too can help choose what projects come next. I'm also starting a question and answers page so if you have any questions you want to ask you can post them there and I'll be doing a monthly Q&A video answering some of the questions. You can click here for the link or find a link to the website in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. I try not to use too much glue when reassembling the model and when I do use glue I only use very small amounts. That way it's easy to remove again if needed. While the shell is off you may want to add a driver to your car. I found this OO scale figure from Hornby and decided he would fit nicely in the car. The thing I like about these Hornby figures is they are close enough in most cases to HO scale and they are rubbery which makes it very easy to manipulate them and glue their arms into positions. You can also find figures specifically made to go in vehicles. This Hornby figure is almost a perfect fit. Now we can reassemble the rest of the vehicle. Basically work in reverse putting it back together. Again just try to be gentle with this vehicle in particular because there are a lot of small details and they are easily broken. You can see the space we created here for the LED. You'll only need a very small amount of tacky glue to hold the LED in position. If you look at it front on, try to position the LED closer to the top of the light so the light emitting from the LED reflects down onto the road surface. Then hold it until the glue sets. As for the wires, I chose to run mine along the bottom of the car and out the back. I applied small spots of glue along the base to hold the wires. Now for the fun part. This is how easy it is to connect the Just Plug lighting system. And we have light. My absolute favourite feature of this system is the dimmer controls. I know it sounds like a bit of a sales pitch, but it truly makes using and adjusting the brightness so simple. Okay, back to the model. Here you can see there is a lot of light bleeding through all those small gaps, and especially from underneath. This is easily fixed with a very small amount of plasticine. 
It's similar to Play-Doh, but this stuff won't dry and it's very easy to manipulate. You'll need some sort of pin to press it in and move it around, and some tweezers. Just keep working it in and scrape away any excess. Once you're done filling in the gaps, give it a test and make sure you got them all. All is good so I can finish reassembling all the pieces. This spade was quite loose so I'm just using a tiny amount of tacky glue to make sure it stays in position. That basically completes the lights install. As for the wires though, I guess you'll need to get creative in hiding them. You could have them go down through the layout and they would be hidden by the car itself or have some loose scenery cover the wires. Either way could work quite well. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest videos and check out BoulderCreekRailroad.com for more information. Cheers and thanks for watching.